here when I was a kid. It was a dry state. I don't know if y'all have that up here. So, uh, a dry state doesn't mean that there's not any alcohol. It means there's not any alcohol laws. So that means that I got to start playing in nightclubs when I was 14. And uh, paid $10 a night and all I could drink and I drank all of it. But uh, I was pretty much through with my drinking problem by the time I was 20. I'd go out and play my little job at the nightclub. I'd made myself a crystal set radio out of the Boy Scout manual. And the only stations that crystal set would get, it got Pentecostal music and rhythm and blues. Yeah. At that time, I was playing the piano in the Methodist church. Amen. And if you'll forgive me. <laughs> Start <to eat. laughs> The methods are just a little bit starchy. <laughs> so I started playing some of the Pentecostal music in the Methodist church and they run me off. The guy said, too fast, they're too fast. I got him another 14 year old to play, I guess. I don't know. Let me. About that time, there was a guy in Kansas City called Ivory Joe Hunter. He had a hit record. I was so jealous, I, I thought, I wish my name was something like Ivory Joe. I, I later changed my name to Leon Russell, because it sounded like a name that nobody would change their name to. So anyway, uh, he had a hit. I'm not going to play the hit for you. I'm going to play the B-side, which I like very much.
went out to Los Angeles right when I got out of high school. I was about 17, rode out there on the bus. Mm, don't ever do that. <laughs> and uh, I went out there to get into the advertising business, if you can imagine. And after those advertisers hurt my feelings a couple of times, I started playing on records. I forgot advertising. Yeah. yeah. One day I got a call from uh, Jackie. Electra. Electra Records down on La Cienega. Yeah. I went down there and there's a young man down there had on what they call a nudie suit. <laughs> nudie the rodeo tailor. He had cacti and covered wagons, horses, horseshoes, rhinestones, and etc. <laughs> He had a band called the Flying Burrito Brothers. We became good friends. I was getting ready to leave Burbank Airport on Joe Cocker's Mad Dogs and Englishman program. Graham came out there and brought me a green chilt top hat. I was fond of them at the time. I've since switched to something more geographically correct. But anyway, I wore that on the road and we played catch with it and somebody sat on it. I looked on the inside and said, MGM 1938, Al Jones from the Jazz Singer. So I was in tall cotton for a minute. Uh, anyway, Graham said I should sing this song. I don't believe it is his song, but he said I should sing it and so I do.
But the end of the people are in Long after the fight Yeah.